हेलो फ्रेंड्स जय हिंद इन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ आर टेक्निकल सेशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल पावर ट्रांसमिशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट चेन ड्राइव सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अ चेन ड्राइव इज अ मैकेनिकली ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वेयर वी यूज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ चेन्स टू ट्रांसमिट द पावर और फॉर मूवमेंट ऑफ सम थिंग्स generally a chain drive is used where the distance between the power produced and where it to be transferred is less however this is not applicable for all in some cases we can use a chain drive for longer distances power transfer in belt or rope drive we see there is some percentage of slip occurs but in the chain there will be no slip but it does not mean that 100% power is transmitted from one to another device due to friction loss some amount of power loss we can generally see in chain drive the speed ratio remains constant which is major advantage of chain drive and here there is no slippage and in case the uh, belt drive there is slippage of uh, speed ratio changes as per slippage a chain is made by number of links and those are connected by the help of a pin chains are run over a wheel named its called sprocket which has several amount of teeth around the circumference of that to grip the chain and uh, in the slide you can see the type of sprockets are there however not all the chain need the sprocket to run over we will further see the difference type of chain and where we use that in the video you can see in the slide type of chains in the field of mechanical engineering chains drive can be classified into three broad categories and those are uh, ho hoisting chains conveyor chains power transmission chains but uh, as in our technical session we are discussing here power transmission so today we will discuss power transmissions of chain through chain drive you can easily find out by name of the chain that is used to transmit the power this type of chain is made of steel and some time it heats treated to minimize wear and tear this type of chain has greater accuracy and can easily run over the sprocket you can see in the slide power transmission chains are categorized into three types number 1 block chains number 2 roller chain and number 3 is silent chain or inverted tooth chain now we'll uh, one by one we will discuss the type of chain one is block chain this type of chain is used in low speed areas and will produce noise due to the sudden contact between a sprocket and chain however uh, this is used in some low speed conveyor machines roller chain this type of chain is constructed by bush inner link pin outer plate inner plate and roller and this type of chain a bush along with the roller is fitted inside both the plates then a pin is passed through both the end of the roller to fasten it the rollers are free to rotate inside the bush so that when it contacts between the sprocket the wear tear would be minimized generally it is made of steel it is soundless 
and wearsless as compared to the blockchains are used in any circumstances and this type chains give much service area if proper lubrication is maintained friends it is a use in high speed power transmission devices like a motorcycle silent chain or inverted tooth chain the operation of this type of chain is quite silent and can be used in high speed power transmission areas this type of chain does not have any roller it is accurately shaped that it can easily sit over the sprocket however lubrication is an important factor for this type of chain otherwise it will wear and tear out very fast here some advantages of chain drive one is it is low maintenance greater efficiency up to 97% slipping is negligible chain drive can operate in wet conditions too it can withstand abrasive conditions the chain drive is easily to install initial tension is not required in chain drive even in fire hazards it does not face any bad problems multiple halves can be driven from a single chain drive chain drive requires less space and it is more compact than bell drive it produce less stress on the shaft because the sprockets are lighter than pulley uh, transmit high power compared to bell drive chain drive the speed ratio is good as compared to bell drive it can be used in reversing drives it can be operated at a high temperature like a belt which can not operate at high temperatures chain drive can be used up to 3 meter in distance between small and large centers and some disadvantages are there of chain drive system the major disadvantage uh, uh, is requires more and frequent lubrication otherwise rust problem may occurs it cannot be used where there is a requirement of slips we can't keep chain drive in open it need housing or covering it cannot be used for precise motion requirements it is highly noisy and therefore there is a problem of vibration too the installation of initial cost is more the velocity fluctuation is more now uh, there is some uh, applications of chain drive there are plenty of application of chain drive some of them are chain drive used for transmission of power it is used for lifting loads and also used to carry materials in uh, conveyors there is also used in woodworking machinery and some uh, purposes uh, like uh, chain drive used in several industries for uh, several purpose like uh, transportation machinery transportation industry agriculture machinery material handling equipments building constructions so friends it is uh, all about the chains if you have any other knowledge regarding chains do share in the comment section i really love to see those uh, your comments so this was the session for uh, power transmission through belts through gears and through chain next session we will be our uh, same power transmission but it will be power transmission hydraulically so till then jai hind jai bharat